why live when you can just die? Jeez, that's actually really, really terrible. Um. Okay, knowing this game, then there's probably some sort of extremely obvious but extremely hidden like trapdoor or like bookshelf that like, rotates or something like that, and um, you're never going to find it in time. And people, people are going to be like, "Oh, you're so dumb, you didn't realise it was there." And, like, oh, oh okay. But not breakable by hand. Oh good, I've got to find something to break it now. Can I throw this at it? Okay, it's got me even darker now. Can I just throw this at it? Ha! <laughs> oh my god, okay, that was... Ah, uh, blindness! You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit... Excessive. You can never be too careful, Daniel. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Oh, I've done it. Okay. What's that open then? Has that opened this? No, oh, because it's locked. Was it opened? Oh, wait, what? Was that open before? I don't think it was. Okay. Um. Oh, there's the key to the wine cellar. Nice. And some sort of weird thing. And everything's going weird. Why is everything going weird for? Okay, let's go to the wine cellar then. If I can find my way back. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, uh, everything's... Um. Okay. Okay, that's the way I've got to go though. I hear it. Go, 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 go! The statues were praying, gazing into the dark, doomed ceiling. I just saw that thing, and it was there, so... <sighs> I just hope I don't encounter it again. Hopefully then I'll find those um, potion things. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because if I find them on time, I guess, um, then I might be able to um, end this video having progressed quite far, I guess. Okay, we're in the... Where did the Baron go? Oh great! Oh, oh no! Oh, thank God! Oh, it's one of the potions I need. Good, good, good. And there's there is barrels everywhere. I see why PewDiePie hates this game now. Also, the music's gone really eerie, and I don't like it. Yeah, I know about my sanity. Everything's going weird. Why is everything going weird? Everything's going weird. Okay. What's going on? Oh. Ugh. Okay, how's my sanity doing? I think the game's frozen a little bit. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Jesus. Yes, yeah, turn you on. Not in that way. Sunny, go out to normal, please. Uh, what? What's happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Feel free to show me some lights. We're not getting up. Oh, I, I've got enough tinder boxes, I just need to... I'm going so badly insane. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to read those later. I don't really want to read them on camera. Right, have I got all the potions I need? I 
think those are, aren't they? Combining four chemicals. Oh, I just crouched for some reason. I've got three, so there's one more I need then. Okay. I can do that easy. If an enemy is near... What do you mean an enemy is near? Running enemies near, guys. This is actually horrific. Um, I just need one more potion thing. Can you, can you just let me find that and I'll be on my way? It's making some horrific noises, though. Seriously, I, I better stand in some light because my sanity is going through the roof. Why would I run? What did I press run for? Wait, is, is that the potion? It is. That's what I need. Good. Now, now I've got to make my way back. <laughs> oh, God. I know running's going to tell it where I am, but if I can escape quick enough. Jeez. <sighs> Horrible, man. Right. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. The voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. You have no idea how, how quickly my heart was pounding there. I was actually so scared. Oh god, all that red stuff's coming back, innit? I just know it. Either that I'm just going insane, which I clearly am. I mean, I've got no light, really. Uh, he sat down by the casbah wall, gasping, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. Imagine, that'd be quite grim, wouldn't it? Just watching your own sweat fall off your forehead. At least there's some light in here. And there might be that monster, though. Oh, um, Matt, don't remind yourself of that. Did you ever talk to yourself in the third person? I find it comforting. Okay. Yeah, I've got four different chemicals, right? Okay, there's one. There's another. There's another. Ah, things are getting weird. There's another one. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Call me Matt the Chemist. Okay. And here it is. Picked up pot of acid. And then I can destroy that red stuff, right? Oh. I probably shouldn't stop, but I'm going to. The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Oh my god. Hang on. Can I stack boxes? And then get out. I mean, that does sound like a terrible idea, but let's try it. Okay, I mean, that does just fall. This actually works. I think I need one more. Is this even the right way? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I was meant to do that, but I've done it. <laughs> After enduring three days in whatever that is, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving Kevin on SS headed for London. Ah, uh, the... Red stuff. It's horrific. And my sanity is really not good, is it? It's like a headache. Okay, now. 
Uh, here's my little cursor. Hey! Oh, you have no idea how good it feels. Like when you actually accomplish stuff in this game, it feels great. The cloth smelled of desert, uh, desert and damp musk. Two pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. See, that's very vague. Could you be more vague? My phone, my phone keeps going off. Oh, it's a good job I'm not streaming this because my phone kept going off the last time I streamed. <coughs> Strength? Is that a word? Uh -huh. Right, it's saved. Let's pause this a minute while I check what's going on on my phone. Do I have any tinder boxes? No, I don't. Oh, oh. Don't, don't know what that was about. It sure is dark in here. Yes. yes. And there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Don't Pay be scary. Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Careful when enemies are near. Don't tell me there's enemies nearby. Give me a light source or something, please. A light source would be much appreciated. Um. Okay. Okay. Second of June, fifteen thirty-nine. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria. Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive okay. decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. Okay. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Okay, nice encrypted. Light source, anyone? <laughs> I really need one, don't I? Oh yes, thank the Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. What's going on? What's going on? I'm, I'm in light because my thing is... Oh, that's really drilling, man. Can I read this note? Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, my sanity's back to not really normal, but manageable state. 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but okay. it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces <laughs> I'm are shaking strangely. I'm shaking. They seem to change uh. colour, shape and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Yeah. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. Okay. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I a can't bit. escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Ah, oh. ah, oh, good, the lantern's fully refueled. That is, that is sound. I'm cool, I say sound a lot. Is this another boxes uh, one? I think I might need a... <gasps> Wait, I can use a barrel, that's pretty helpful. Come on, barrel. Okay. Hey! Oh, hang on. Then do I... Oh, I'm a genius. Hey, hey. Now I just need to... Okay. 
Ah, no, don't do that. Jeez. Oh, there's water. Well, what's, what's going on? <gasps> okay, that's not good, is it? A wound is bleeding quite badly. Do I use this now? Okay, I'm, I'm using it now. Oh, God, this is horrific. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh, barely conscious. And I've just used up all of that. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs>